Hi everybody, Dr. Cobb of Z Health. Today we're going to show you a fun two minute challenge that will improve the most fundamental athletic skills in your body using this cool little chart. Hi guys, today we're going to talk about information that comes from our 9S Speed certification, which is an advanced course that talks about how to be a faster athlete. Now, as a martial artist personally, I love fast movers. I always have. I love watching sprinters. I love doing all that kind of stuff myself. So I've had a fascination with developing speed my entire life. Now, what has come out of that, however, is a much deeper appreciation for the neurology behind speed. Because if you look at a fast sprinter, you go, well, the dude's just genetically blessed. And in some cases, he is. But there's a lot that goes into that. So as a, an athlete who plays field sports or a martial artist or whatever, we have to recognize that there are some fundamental things that everyone has to do as an athlete. Those fundamentals are see what's happening, decide what it means, and then act on it. So see, decide, and act. And so in our speed training course, while yes, we work on fundamentals of sprinting, we look at a lot of uh, uh, kind of revolutionary ways, if you want to call it that, uh, to develop power, the most important stuff that we actually talk about for most athletes is improving their ability to see, decide, and act. All right? So what we're going to do today is we're going to give you a little chart. You can download it below this video. Uh, and this is a very simple, what we call hand-eye coordination chart. I'm going to explain how it works. I'm going to show you the basics. And then from there, I'm going to tell you how we actually use it with a lot of our athletes. So simple. You're going to take your chart and you're going to put it up on a wall. All right? Once it's up on the wall, basically you want it at roughly eye level, particularly if you were in more of an athletic ready stance. And then from there, what you can see when you look at it is that it has lines and stars. So what we tell people in the beginning is if this is on the wall in front of you and you see a star on the right-hand side of the line, you tap your right leg. If you see a star on the left-hand side of the line, you tap your left leg. And if the star is touching the line, you tap both. Now, if you're a drummer, it starts to look pretty good, right? You get pretty fast. And in most cases, when people first start doing this hand-eye coordination chart, we time them for one minute. So 60 seconds, we let them rest for a minute, and then we time them again. And most people can be somewhere in the 90 to 110 or so um, changes per minute. So you go all the way down, and then you restart, and you just keep going for a minute. Now, what's really cool about this is we call it a potentiator, because what happens is it's making you practice fundamental athletic skills. See something. Decide what it means. Is it on the left side? Is it on the right side? Is it touching? And then act on that. Okay, if it's on the left side, tap my left leg. If it's on the right side, tap my right leg. If it's touching the line, tap both. So this is a, a regression, if you will, of your fundamental athletic skills. Once people start doing this, though, magic stuff starts to happen. Very often, if you're going to do some weight training in the gym, if you do this first, you'll be stronger. If you're going to play catch, you'll catch better. Because, the, again, what we're doing is we're, we're regressing the brain. We're making it a little easier to practice fundamental athletic skills. And when that happens, we tend to see all performances improve or increase. So if you're going to do this, uh, you know, use this. I say do it as part of your warm-up. Do it between sets. Do it before your game. Uh, it's very, very cool to see something so simple create changes with people. We've seen improvements in vertical jump, believe it or not, of between three and five inches just from using this one chart. And that's in people who were already really good. So that may sound very strange, because a lot of people go, that doesn't make any sense. I can't do the neurology behind why that happens right now. But I want you to at least test it. So that's version one. Version two is where, for me, it starts to get really cool. Because this might get a little boring, you know, tapping my legs over time. So what we do with most of our athletes is we begin to make this sport specific. I'm going to give you a fighting example, because I work with a lot of fighters. If I have a fighter, and he has a chart up on the wall, I'll say, okay, what I want you to do is get into your fighting stance, and if the star is on the left-hand side, throw a jab. If it's on the right-hand side, throw a cross. And if it's touching the line, throw an uppercut. So now all of a sudden, he's seeing, bam, bam, bam. He's having to decide what he sees and create a motor response to that. So once again, it's a regression of the fundamental athletic skills. If I have a tennis player, very often we'll use this to simulate being at the net, where I'm doing a volley, a volley in an overhead. So lots and lots of different ways to creatively apply this very simple hand-eye coordination chart, either just in a, you know, as, as described or in a sport-specific context. 
Give this a shot. I think you're going to love it. If you find it uh, that your body responds really well to it, like I said, make sure to carry this chart around with you. Use it as part of your warm-ups. Use it as part of your workouts. And use it as sports preparations. Fantastic and very fun tool. Blending is useful. <laughs> that was not good. You should be good. Okay, all right. 12, 12 seconds out of my life. All right. <laughs>